I've got a wonky one for you today. Last week, Governor Inslee uh, signed into law House Bill 1661, which creates a new department of state government called uh, the Department of Children, Youth, and Families. And this department is intended to be the uh, future home for all the work done on child welfare within uh, state government. It's a big change, so uh, I want to talk about it. This bill was written uh, as a result of the Blue Ribbon Commission uh, that Governor Inslee formed in February of last year. The commission's job was to explore the idea of taking all the work done on child welfare uh, and, and early elementary education, which is pre presently spread across three different government agencies, and bringing it into the same place. The purpose being, uh, if they're all under the same roof, they can work together better. And also making a big change like this would create an opportunity to reimagine the way that foster care and, and all of child welfare is done. Now that's not crazy. Uh, the basic premise is sound, um, but the notion does have its critics. Some critics believe that the problems we face today in foster care aren't related to the structure of government, but uh, they're caused by underfunding. You can organize the bureaucracy however you want, but if you don't fund it fully, it's not going to improve. Also not crazy. Uh, but I hear that critique less as a, an effective defense of the status quo and more as a, as a caveat that if we do this, we should do it correctly. That's the way I hear it anyway. And uh, the commission and then the legislature and then evidently the governor seem to agree because the bill passed and was signed last week. So what now? At the bill signing, Governor Inslee named the first director of this new department, uh, Ross Hunter, who r currently runs the Department of Early Education, which is exactly what it sounds like, uh, handles all the um, uh, preschool and daycare work done in, in state government. He starts in August. Now, for the next year, uh, Director Hunter will lead a smallish team to plan and execute the transition. This team is called the, I gotta read it because there's a lot of words in this, the Office of Innovation, Alignment, and Accountability. <laughs> and their big deadline is July 1, 2018. And at that time, the switch will flip and all the work done by the Department of Early Learning and the work done by Children's Administration will combine into this new department called the Department of Children, Youth, and Families. So what does this change mean for Skookum Kids? Well, uh... <laughs> I think it represents an opportunity um, at, a, at a moment in time when our state is reconsidering the way that it cares for foster children. We're going to have a chance to demonstrate just how effective our approach is, uh, and I'm excited about that opportunity. Will the next year bring actual improvements or just a new logo on the building next door? Only time will tell.